Chapter 41, Episode 9 Omniscient Sunfish, 6. What? What are you? I was surprised by the sudden change in thoughts. Surely he didn't regain his sense of reason after hearing my words. How could that be? I was a bit confused. In the first place, I didn't start this operation with the expectation of such a result. The theater master simulacrum is embarrassed. The theater master simulacrum has strengthened his control on the character, Yu Jonghyuk. Kuek. Yu Jonghyuk's eyes blurred again. Indeed, I had felt hope but it was unreasonable for him to wake up himself. Otherwise, he wouldn't be a sunfish. I would be grateful if he didn't commit suicide. The ether of Yu Jonghyuk's sword trembled. The character, Yu Jonghyuk's splitting the sky energy, has grown. In the meantime, the skills received through transmission were becoming stronger. It was thanks to the talent of a main character. The white pure star energy gradually collapsed as I kept struggling. I didn't know if it was the limit of the skill itself or a difference in talent. I glanced at Li Gilyang. Blood was pouring down from Li Gilyang's nose. The time had come. Zhang Hyuk. Perhaps after today, Yu Zhang Hyuk would become surprisingly strong. I pushed his sword away as hard as I could. Do you remember what I asked before? I asked if I could hit you. There was a difference in natural talent. In the next few years, Yu Zhang Hyuk would become incomparable stronger than me. But not right now. At least for now. You told me to hit you if I could. Do you remember? If I did this now, then at least for a moment. Blade of Faith is activated. The special option of Unbroken Faith is activated. The ether property is converted to fire. I could overwhelm this ridiculous guy. Ether Blade. The fire ether appeared in empty space. Warrioric. Yu Jong Hyuk was surprised by the sudden attack and took a few steps back. He instinctively felt that it was something extraordinary. But it was too late. The stigma, Song of the Sword, has been used. Song of the Sword. It was one of the strongest combat buffs that the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare was proud of. Your sword is filled with the words left by the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare. There was a large variation in the attack power depending on which verse was sung, but it was a perfect skill for me right now. Shooting arrows like rain and protecting the Generalissimo from guns firing on all sides. Fortunately, it was a verse from the Nanjung Ilgi. Wiki link. An enormous magic power emerged and all the burning ethers were united. I swung it towards Yu Jonghyuk. The chaos was like a thunderstorm. The fire ether took the shape of arrows and started to bombard him. It was an attack that couldn't be used for a long time due to insufficient magic power. However, this would suffice. Do 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 do. Kwu. Numerous red wounds appeared all over Yu Jonghyuk's body. In this damn world where coins represented all values and the constellations decided the development of the world, I still needed Yu Jonghyuk. Thus, I would protect him today. Warrioric. Yu Jonghyuk's actions stopped as flames burned the area. His fire resistance meant it might not be a serious blow, but it was enough to force him into a state of inactivity. I looked at the theater master, sitting at the edge of the garden. The theater master simulacrum is extremely alert to you. Now was the only chance. I started running. In the distance, I could see the theater master stiffen. Then, the character, Yu Jonghyuk, has used recovery LV. 2. Damn it, Yu Jonghyuk was already chasing after me. Recovery. It was a scam skill where he could recover. Quickly after being hit hard once a day. He already obtained this skill due to transmission. No matter how fast I ran, I couldn't be faster than Yu Jonghyuk who used Red Phoenix Shunpo. I ignored the theater master in front of me and collided with Yu Jonghyuk's sword. I could only believe in my last card. I cried out with all my strength. Gilyang. Kukuking. The moment I cried out, there was a huge crack in the ceiling of Sky Garden. The black dome surrounding the roof was breaking. The Yu Jonghyuk running towards me was also the Yu Jonghyuk manipulated by the theater master. He looked up with surprise at the ceiling. It was generally impossible for the shielded area of a hidden scenario to be broken but it was possible for, uncommon, existences. In the distance, Li Gilyang was crying while wiping his bleeding nose. You awa, awa. In order to deal with a monster, you had to call a monster. Kwu. A huge insect dug into the cracks of the broken dome. Rattle. Like thin glass, the dome broke and the roof was split apart. The astonished theater master screamed. A monster that could destroy the shielded area of a hidden scenario. It was like a gigantic praying mantis, the insect king of great size. The sixth great insect king, Tetanoptera has appeared. It was an appearance that caused goosebumps. The monster that had been fighting with the poisonous rhino the other day. 
This monster came here in response to Lee Gilyoung's diverse communication. Lee Gilyoung laughed. He, he he, Titano. Titano. Don't tell me, it did look similar but surely not. Kwu. The huge praying mantis flew towards the theater master. Then Yu Jong Hyuk blocked it. The character, Yu Jong Hyuk, has used, strong self-defense LB. Four feet. Kwong. There was a massive sound and Yu Jong Hyuk's body was pushed down into the floor of the rooftop. Yet Yu Jong Hyuk was still standing. Koo 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 koo. He was really a ridiculous monster. He could do with a sixth grade species with his current abilities. Yu Jong Hyuk even launched a counterattack. Kyao. The Titanoptera screamed at the hard blow. Surprisingly, Yu Jong Hyuk was on par with the sixth grade insect king. Maybe it was something he saw when fighting with me. The color of the theater master was returning. Yu Jong Hyuk was strong. It was a sudden situation, but the theater master thought he could win. He was wrong. He should have been looking at me. I ran towards the theater master again. There wasn't long left on diverse communicatin. I wouldn't let Lee Gilyoung's efforts be in vain. Blade of Faith is activated. The theater master belatedly discovered me and shouted. The theater master's simulacrum. According to the setting of Ways of Survival, this named boss was made with all the heart and soul of a constellation. A lot of time passed and he was in a deteriorated form, becoming the boss of a hidden scenario. However, he was still able to penetrate Yu Jong Hyuk's mental barrier. The one who received the divine protection of a constellation. He was never a pushover. The theater master simulacrum has triggered simulacra. It was a delirium skill on a higher level than the specter's welcome prison. The surrounding space distorted and all types of illusions appeared. The monsters seemed closer to reality than illusions. The ground rats, grolls, poisonous rhinos, T-Rex, the monsters I had encountered so far were running towards me. The fierce teeth and violence claws ripped and clawed at me, but I didn't stop. I wasn't afraid. It was all fake. They didn't exist. They were all fiction from a novel. The moment that the blade of faith reached his neck. The theater master simulacrum has triggered mental erosion. Mental erosion. It was the advanced cognitive manipulation skill used on Yu Jong Hyuk. I wasn't afraid because I had the fourth wall. But something unexpected happened the moment he penetrated my head. The theater master simulacrum is embarrassed. Abyss of the ego. All types of thoughts gathered and the pages of ways of survival fluttered. T this. This is. Numerous texts emanated a faint light and floated in the darkness. It was the chapters of ways of survival that I had read. The exclusive skill, fourth wall, is activated. The complexion of the theater master changed as he dug into my head. He looked at the strings around him and his face widened. Don't. Tell. Me. You. Ah. This was the last thing he said. Strangely, he looked at me in awe. The moment Blade of Faith was about to cross his neck, a dazzling light came from his body. It was like a ghost touching a divine light or the penalty for breaking a taboo. He was destroyed without a trace. I looked down at my hands and felt dazed. What just happened? The theater master simulacra has been killed for the first time. You have obtained 9,000 coins as compensation. You have met the conditions to clear the hidden scenario. You have obtained 4,000 coins as compensation. These messages rose. I looked back and saw Yu Jong Hyuk collapsing after being released from the theater master's control. Fortunately, he didn't die. The same was true for Lee Gilyoung, who had forcibly used diverse communication. Hung. I rushed over and embraced Lee Gilyoung. Lee Gilyoung lost strength and fainted in my arms. The barrier surrounding the theater dungeon has disappeared. The barrier covering the ceiling vanished and I looked at the insect king. Surprising, it turned around and fled. It was like all interest had vanished. I breathed out with a sense of relief. It was over. Are you okay? Young Hee-won and Lee Jai-hee staggered over. I'm fine. Hee-won SSI. I'm okay. Fortunately, Jai-hee is safe. Lee Jai-hee was hit a lot by Yu Jong-hyuk and she couldn't speak because her mouth was swollen. The ending time for the third main scenario is approaching. Perhaps it was time for the end. I looked around the rooftop and saw that dawn was coming, making the day brighter. If Lee Hunsung was here, he would recite the homeland prayer. Young Hee Wan groaned. Ah, Seoul. The ruined city area was illuminated by the faint light of dawn. I heard intermittent explosions from far away. Now there was no more poisonous fog. The poisonous rhinos were crushed under the collapsed buildings. I could see people fighting among themselves. They were probably a group that ended the scenario before us. The entire landscape was trapped inside a huge dome. It was a large barrier that seemed to be breaking. Currently, Seoul was isolated in a transparent dome. 
Young Hee Won said, really, it is all ending. It was a scene that had to be acknowledged once again. I looked at the collapsed buildings and thought that Minosoft would be somewhere there. Yu Sangha would be disappointed. It was because Yu Sangha was a person who worked hard. Lee Gilyoung wriggled in my arms. Have you regained consciousness? Lee Gilyoung nodded and pointed to the sky. From a distance, a meteor shower seemed to be falling. The meteor shower was originally the forerunner of the main scenario. However, the number of meteor showers was more than before. It meant the hall would open soon. The meteor showers were probably falling all over the world. Young Hee Won admired it. Pretty. Young Hee Won didn't know. The meteors that looked beautiful from a distance would make a nightmare for the people where it fell. Now a bigger disaster would come. Lee Gilyoung gathered his small hands together and muttered something. Young Hee Won and Lee Jai Hee were silent for a while. Maybe they were also praying. It was funny. Wishing to the beings who would become a source of nightmare, it was probably only human beings who did this in the entire universe. After a while, Lee Gilyoung opened his eyes and looked up at me. Hung isn't making a wish. I looked down at Lee Gilyoung and replied. I have made a wish. What is it? Gilyoung, you shouldn't ask that. Young Hee Won scolded him. I watched Young Hee Won, Yu Jong Hyuk and then the collapsed soul again. I wish to see the novel's epilogue. Lee Gilyoung looked at me with confusion. I silently gazed at the sky. There were slight cracks in the sky above Seoul. Once the sun rose, the Dakabus would open a new hell. Chapter 42. Episode 10 Future War 1. Main scenario number 3 Emergency Defense has ended. You have obtained 1000 coins as compensation. The main scenario, which was supposed to begin only after the sun had risen, actually started less than 10 minutes after the third main scenario was over. The fourth main scenario is about to begin. Damn, how long had it been since the third scenario ended? I went straight to Lee Jaehee. You take Yu Jong Hyuk. Can I do that? You can't go downstairs now anyway. It will be a problem for when he wakes up. Lee Jaehee nodded as she looked at Yu Jong Hyuk. Please inform me when he wakes up. I want to give him another hit in the back. I headed downstairs with Young Hee Won. I carried Lee Gilyoung, who had completely fallen asleep after the meteor shower. The dungeon disappeared and it turned into an ordinary theater. The items in the rewards room on the fifth floor were turned into ordinary stage props. It was as if everything that happened yesterday was a dream. Then Bi Hyung's voice was heard. Do you know what I am going to say? Yes. Sigh. I nearly fell down. I felt a little relieved as I listened to Bi Hyung's grumbles. The constellations were powerful but they weren't omniscient. It was because all the sounds and images of the scenario were transmitted through the channel. What did this mean? Was it filtered properly? I was too excited that I said too much. Of course it was. Is there something wrong with my channel? That level of information is automatically filtered. If my thoughts were correct, the words I said to Yu Jong Hyuk would be conveyed to the constellations in the following way. Do you really think so? You have already forgotten the determination of your attempt. Why are you alone? When you like a fool in the, when you cried over your, when your loved one gave to a, helping people and fighting against the dam. When you finally before the, in fact, I didn't know how much filtering there was. It might be more than this, but it wouldn't be weak. In the original work, Yu Jong Hyuk experienced information being blocked this way at the beginning, even when information about, regressors, was spreading. The constellations didn't hear anything. Don't worry. The problem is that even I didn't hear much. You didn't hear it. This was a bit odd. The Dokabi also couldn't hear the information. Yes, that's right. What were you talking about? Information that even the Dokabi didn't know. I had one guess. Perhaps, the constraints of, probability, had begun. I naturally came up with something from ways of survival. Probability, is a great deterrent that controls the star stream. I was reminded of it but it didn't help me straight away. One of the reasons why ways of survival was ruined was that there were too many settings the writer didn't know well. What is the reaction among the constellations? They are fed up. There is still an uproar about what you were talking about. I guess so. The constellations experienced a filter and the movie suddenly changed into a silent movie. If they were smart, they should start paying attention to the possibilities I had. The fact that my words were filtered meant I knew information that shouldn't be revealed at the present time. A few constellations are watching you to explore your secrets. The constellation, secretive plotter, is excited by your existence. 2000 coins have been sponsored. I thought Bi Hyung had forgotten. I received so many indirect messages that I didn't send them to you. Do you understand? Do so in the future. I only want messages about coins. Am I your manager? The figure of Bi Hyung disappeared. 
I thought he was becoming cuter over time. One thing was finished and the other. Dokia SSI, is it hard? I'll carry Gilyang. Ah, it would be appreciated. I handed Lee Gilyang to Yung Hiwan. Her face looked somewhat serious. I hesitated for a moment before opening my mouth. Hiwan SSI. Huh, what are you worried about? No, just, Yung Hiwan hesitated for a moment before sighing. Ha, okay, it isn't in my nature to keep it in. Indeed, Yung Hiwan got directly to the point. What is Dokya C's identity? Did you hear something earlier? A little bit. I thought she wouldn't hear it because we were quite far away. Unfortunately, she heard something. Yung Hiwan was closer than Li Jaihe and no human to human filtering is possible. Li Gilyang let out a loud snoring noise. I decided to be half honest. I know part of the future. Really? Yes. Yung Hiwan thought about something for a while. She seemed to be wondering if my words were true or not. Then Yung Hiwan seemed to have decided as she bit her lips. Do you Sangha and Li Hunsung know? They don't know yet. I answered in earnest and Yung Hiwan stepped away from me with Li Gilyang. Surely you aren't going to kill me. Why are you saying this all of a sudden? Normally, a development like, you know too much about me, will occur. Where did this normal development come from? Somehow I seem to be a bad person. I don't know what the normal development is but I would have already killed Hiwan SSI if I wanted to. Actually, that is a bit weird. I don't have bad thoughts. It is actually the opposite. The opposite. I looked into Yung Hiwan's eyes and said. The future scenarios will be more dangerous. You might almost die many times and might lose precious things. So, so, I looked into Yung Hiwan's increasingly nervous eyes and said, Please stay with me from now on. What do you mean? It means to be my companion. It was time to make my people. Trustworthy people, who wouldn't easily betray me. Yung Hiwan, who I helped awaken and could read her mind, was the most suitable talent. Yung Hiwan looked blank for a moment. Dokia SSI didn't consider me a companion before. It is actually the opposite. I'm not the one who doesn't think of you as a companion. Yung Hiwan's eyes shook. I deliberately took a step back. If you don't want to be companions, think of it as a deal. I need Hiwan's strength and my information will be helpful to Hiwan SSI. It is give and take. The important thing is that our relationship won't change in the future. It is a bit abrupt. Do I have to answer now? No. For a person like Yung Hiwan, a leisurely approach was better than a hasty and emotional one. In fact, Yung Hiwan's expression wasn't bad. The character, Yung Hiwan, is relieved at your honesty. The character, Yung Hiwan, is seriously thinking about your proposal. Maybe it wouldn't be long. I had a big influence on Yung Hiwan's awakening event and my presence would be deeply stamped in her subconscious. Perhaps when this scenario was over, the second sponsor selection would begin. Then Yung Hiwan would gain a sponsor. The real power of Yung Hiwan would be shown from then on. Then can I ask you something? Yes. Do you know what I am doing in the future? I looked up. Wouldn't this be filtered? I also don't know. Huh. There is no Yung Hiwan in the future that I know. What? That's why this deal is really necessary for Hiwan SSI. Yung Hiwan's eyes widened. Yung Hiwan wasn't in the original book. She was a variable that I raised directly. Her attribute was good enough and if she got a proper sponsor, she would play a key role in changing future scenarios. Especially if I fought against people with, other variables, that I didn't know. Then a loud noise was heard from downstairs. Think about it. Let's hurry. We descended to the platform where many people were putting pressure on a small group. I understood the situation. The Landlord Alliance. They were still like this. Where did that bastard Kim Dokya go? Tell me quickly. Looking closer, I saw that the Landlord Alliance were harassing Lee Hunsung. I deliberately walked towards them and spoke in a loud voice. You Senga SSI, Lee Hunsung SSI. You, an Alliance member cried out as soon as I came down to the platform of Line 4. I saw a familiar Landlord uncle. The evidence of the fierce battle remained on the bastard's body. At first glance, I could tell that his overall stats had risen sharply. I liked it. Gong Pildu. Gong Pildu used arm zone and eight turrets rose. The alliance members centered around Gong Pildu looked at me. They didn't know the person who saved them. This jerk. The moment Gong Pildu was about to say something. There was an electric current in the air. The fourth main scenario will start in five minutes. Along with the system message, Dokabi Bihyung appeared. Ha ha ha, everyone. Have you been well? People's expressions stiffened at this nasty guy's face. It looks like you are all restless. W what is it now? Of course I came because of the announcement for the fourth scenario. This is shit. 
Now now, don't act like that. Don't you know I go after the first person who complains. The fourth main scenario has to do with the other stations. A fairly exciting story is waiting for you. I'm sure you will be satisfied. Everyone's complexions darkened as they heard about other stations. Chungmuro alone was this bad. It was obvious how much trouble there would be if other stations were involved. Bi Young laughed. By the way, in order to proceed with this scenario, you have to perform another task first. Won't it be a mess if the number of people increases? Therefore, you need a presence to lead you. In other words, there must be a station representative. Representative. It was finally starting. From now on, we will play a skirmish. It could be called a warm-up game. The rules of the game, well, you will see. Bi Young smiled and disappeared, while a message window popped up in front of everyone. The sub-scenario has arrived. Plus. Sub-scenario, elect a representative. Category. Sub. Difficulty. C. Clear conditions. Take the white flag, installed in the center of the platform. Time limit. 30 minutes. Compensation. 1,000 coins, Chungmuro's representative. Failure. The representative of the station can exercise strong control over the members. Plus. Before the message window fully popped up, Gong Pildu was already running to the flag in the center of the platform. He truly was like a ghost. Everybody get out of the way. Gong Pildu pushed people like a runaway locomotive and was in the lead to get the white flag. This couldn't happen. The moment his fingertips were about to reach the flag, I opened my mouth. Gong Pildu, down. Under the terms of the contract, command rights, is activated. Walk. I stepped on the back of the collapsed Gong Pildu and took the white flag. You have pulled the white flag from the flagpole. You have become the representative of Chungmuro. You are qualified to walk the King's Road. Chapter 43. Episode 10 Future War 2. As soon as my hand wrapped around the flag, I felt a strong energy rising in my body. Originally, this was something the third turn Yu Jong Hyuk should have but, it didn't matter. Wasn't he already strong? Kim Dokya has occupied the white flag. If the white flag doesn't change owners in the next five minutes, Chungmuro will be under his control. If the flag is snatched in the next five minutes, the timer will reset. A timer appeared in the air. Five o'clock. Gong Pildu pointed at me with a pale face. Take away the flag. You only have to snatch it in five minutes. The Alliance member belatedly regained their minds and started rushing towards me. Oh ho, it was like this. Lee Hunsung turned to me. Dokya SSI. Hunsung SSI. We called out to each other at the same time. Hercule's shield flew out of my hands into Lee Hunsung's hands. T this. I picked it out for you. Throw away what you previously used. A big smile appeared on Lee Hunsung's face. The character, Lee Hunsung, has used the exclusive skill, Wide Area Defense. A translucent shield centered on Hercule's shield surrounded our party. Indeed, this was the secondary skill attached to an A-grade item. Wah, what is this? People groaned as they ran into the air shield. They tried to break the protective shields with their old weapons but it couldn't be broken with E-grade or F-grade items. In the end, the Alliance members had only one place to turn to. Pildu SSI. Out of the way. The level of armed zone had risen considerably and there was already a small armed zone under Gong Pildu's feet. He reduced the area to shorten the cooldown time. He was using his brains. Well, I had to handle it properly. Pildu, did I tell you to get up yet? Hyok. Gong Pildu's head once again slammed into the ground as he fell flat. Under the terms of the contract, command rights, is activated. Keep your head on the ground until I tell you to get up. The perplexed alliance members shouted at Gong Pildu. P Pildu SSI. P pull me up. Quickly. The terrified alliance members tried to raise Gong Pildu up but it wasn't easy because Gong Pildu was very heavy. And, it is annoying so turn off the turrets. The character, Gong Pildu, has released, Arm Zone LB. 6. T this bastard. Shut your mouth as well. Stay silent for 30 minutes. Under the terms of the contract, command rights, is activated. Oof oof oof. The Alliance members became completely panic-stricken once Gong Pildu became powerless with just a few words. Of course, the same was true for Lee Hunsung, Yu Sangha and Yung Hiwan. I said with a smile, now everyone seems to have figured out the situation and I'd like to talk to you. I could see people wincing and withdrawing. There were roughly 29 people left. 20 members from the Landlord Alliance and 9 extra people, including me and my party. The number wasn't high but it was better than I thought. It was because having too many people at the beginning was difficult to control. I watched them and said, now you have two choices. 
It was time to pick a side. The first one is to leave Chungmuro and go to another station. Or stay here with me. W what are you saying so suddenly? Just answer me. Will you remain here or will you go elsewhere? You better decide before the main scenario starts. Or else your life will be in danger. The eyes of the people present started to quickly move. Someone looked at me, someone else looked at Gong Pildu and another person looked at the tunnel leading to another station. I could tell their thoughts just be looking at them. I won't stop anyone who wants to leave. But anyone who stays here will be under my control. Control. Behavior like the Landlord Alliance, is no longer acceptable. I won't allow tyranny over a small group. A handful of people watching me furtively started to stand by my side. They had been treated harshly by the Landlord Association and thought it was better to stick with me. It was a good judgment. A few Alliance members shouted. In the end, you are going to reign. I won't deny it, but I won't take taxes or survival money. Is our safety guaranteed if we enter your group? A man from the Alliance asked. Well, they bothered the tenants so much that it was natural to worry. I'll guarantee some outside safety but I won't interfere with what is going on inside. You must deal with conflicts between individuals yourself. T that. I'll give you one minute. You have until then to decide. There was no need to wait for one minute. People had already made up their minds. Some of the Alliance members walked over to me with determined expressions and bowed their heads. They were relatively young. Thank you in advance. I was wrong in the past. Thank you for your generous forgiveness. It is a pleasure. You don't have to ask for forgiveness from me. Some members within the group felt a sense of trust towards you. However, several others decided to leave Chungyuro. They tried to raise the fallen Gong Pildu. I watched them and said, Ah, leave Gong Pildu. That guy is mine. What? If you have decided then leave quickly. The five alliance members frowned at this and withdrew. Gong SSI. Do you really not want to come with me? It is better than staying under him. Let's all go. Are you really going to serve that guy? You've seen him. But there were no more defectors. The five men cursed a few times before heading for the tunnel towards Myeongdong. They wanted to gain land elsewhere and become new, landlords. Unfortunately, their plan would fail. In the fourth scenario, the people, wandering, were good prey to predators. Once five minutes passed, the system messages popped up. The sub-scenario has ended. You have earned 1,000 coins as compensation. The white flag will show its true effects to the Chungmuro representative. Current group. 24 people. Your reputation is still too weak to gain the title of king. The title of king. Indeed, it was hard to get the title of king with just a white flag. In order to walk the proper king's road, I had to change the color of the flag. Of course, the white color had its own, authority. You have gained control of the Chungmuro group through the effect of the white flag. You can punish a group member who goes against you. There are currently five people who have left. I could give a punishment to the five distant men but I left it alone. Terror was effective in controlling people but such tyranny wasn't suitable for me. Well, thank you. I said while looking everyone in the eyes. Lee Hunsung was looking at me with respect while Yu Sangha and Yung Hiwan nodded. The rest of them were looking at me with similar expressions. They were still rabble but it wasn't a bad start. Shortly afterwards, Bi Hyung appeared in the air. Oh who, you have voted for a representative. Then let's start the game. The fourth main scenario is activated. Plus. Main scenario number four struggle for the flag. Category. Main. Difficulty. C. Clear conditions. Hidden because there are many contents. Time limit. 12 days. Compensation. 2000 coins. Failure. Plus. I press the clear conditions. Numerous messages appeared in front of me. Plus. Clear conditions. 1. Every station has a flag, and, flagpole, that can be occupied. The flag can only be carried by the, representative, of the station. 2. You need to protect the flag from other station groups. If a flag is taken away by another group, the losing group will be taken over by the group that occupied the flag. 3. You can put a, flag, in the, flagpole, of another station. The authority of the flag is only for the, representative, of each station. Once the representative dies in an armed conflict, the authority of the representative is transferred to the person who holds the flag first. If you take the flag of another station group, the treatment of the group deprived of the flag is determined by the group that took the flag. 4. You must occupy the flagpole of the target station within a certain time limit. Failure to do so will result in the death of all group members. 5. The target station your group should occupy is Changson Station. Plus, 
Young Hee-won thought for a moment before opening her mouth. We have to keep our flag and flagpole while putting out flag in other stations. Am I understanding it right? That is how I understood it. We must take the flag to Changsun Station. Lee Hun-sung also spoke. Then I said, that's right. Everyone has understood. Young Hee-won narrowed her eyes at my words. She knew I was pretending not to know. Now that I knew the future, she kept looking at me. I grinned towards Young Hee-won. Yu Sangha touched her shoulder and said. Again, we once again have to fight against people. Lee Hun-sung thought for a moment before replying. It said that we can decide on the treatment of the group if we occupy their flagpole, hopefully there might not be any casualties. Ah, I see. That death won't necessarily occur if we take over the station. If we can accept the members of that station group when deciding the treatment. Yes, it is possible to clear it without anyone dying. Lee Hun-sung replied with a smile. However, my heart wasn't comfortable. It seemed like Yu Sangha and Lee Hun-sung were trying to understand the world with some saintly logic. There was no such thing as a scenario where no one died. The fourth scenario would have more casualties than any precious scenario. As if she knew my heart, Yung Hee Won changed the topic. What line is Changsun Station? I think we should know that first. Lee Hun Sung confirmed it on the route map. Line 6. If we go to the tunnel, we can use the transit route. Then we should split the group. How about a few people guarding this place while others go to scout? I didn't have to say anything as they actively exchanged opinions. It was somewhat heartwarming. The activation of the scenario will turn off Chungmuro Station's safety borders. You can now freely move to other stations. As people were exchanging their opinions, I approached Gong Pildu. Gong Pildu, you can speak now. The command was turned off but Gong Pildu couldn't easily open his mouth. I know that you feel badly towards me. But you have to adapt. The days when you are a landlord are over. Quote ellipsis quote. I know why you have been so obsessed with, land. But, do it moderately. If you want to survive in the future. Don't you have something to do? Gong Pildu's eyes were shaky. I continued speaking. You will be in charge of protecting this place. Just like the third scenario, Gong Pildu was very useful for the fourth scenario. As long as Gong Pildu protected this place, Chungmuro would be safe unless someone on Yu Jong Hyuk's level came. Why should I speak to you? This time I won't enforce it with a command. If you follow my request, there will be a reward. Quote ellipsis quote. Think carefully. Think about your family. Gong Pildu's eyes became bigger at my words. You. How? At this moment, noise was heard from the tunnel. Bong tilde. There was a loud horn sound and headlights shone on the railway of line 4. There was a bike engine sound and an exhaust sound. Something was coming towards Chungmuro. Chapter 44. Episode 10 Future War 3. It hadn't been long since the scenario began and already. I tried to recall the original story but there was no recollection of such an early invasion. It meant variables had appeared. In the darkness, the headlights turned off and there was the sound of people talking. Ah, we finally made it to Chungyuro. Really, it took them a long time to break the scenario. Hey, be quiet. They are going to hear. And don't you know that the scenarios are different between stations? I watched as the people came closer with weapons. The most important thing in a battle was to take the lead first. I went forward, followed by Lee Hunsung and Yung Hiwan, then Yu Sangha in the rear. Lee Gilyoung was still sleeping. How many seconds passed? The four men and women in the darkness walked towards this side. I opened my mouth. Stop there. Hey. Well well. The people stopped in their traces when they saw the blade I was pointing. There were white bikes beside them. I heard weapons being pulled out but a man's voice was faster. Wait a minute. Calm down. Oh, I can't even talk because I am too scared. Put down your weapons and slowly come this way. The man put down his weapon and approached with both hands raised. Once he entered the light, the man's impression wasn't bad. He gave off a reasonably favorable impression. His thin eyes were in a gentle curve. Don't be too wary. We didn't come here to fight. Then why did you come? Let's start with the introductions. I'm Kong Ilhan and I help manage the Dongdemon group. Kong Ilhan. Nobody popped up in my head straight away. Furthermore, the representative of Dongdemon, things were becoming strange. The exclusive skill, character list is activated. Since the skill worked, he was certainly a character in the novel. Character information. Name. Kong Ilhan. Age. 31 years old. Constellation sponsor. Shameless good gossiper. Private attribute. Rumors expert general. Exclusive skills. Weapons training LB. 2. Art of communication LB. 3. Spread rumors LB. 1. Stigma. Making a commotion LB. 1. Overall stats. 
Stamina LB. 12. Strength LB. 13. Agility LB. 13. Magic Power LB. 10. Overall Evaluation. Unfortunately, he didn't develop his character due to the wrong sponsor. But he is a person with good ability who can be used. He spreads rumors regardless of truth or lies, so be careful. Rumors expert, it was time for these guys to start acting. Kong Ilhan looked at me with slight impatience. Your name is Kim Dokia. Ah, Kim Dokia SSI. A flash of wonder coursed Kong Ilhan's face as he heard my name. However, it was only for a short moment. Nice to meet you, Dokia SSI. Since you have a flag, you must be a station representative. That's right. He looked closely at the color of my flag and then the people around me. It was to confirm the power on our side. He was keen eyes but unfortunately, he met the wrong opponent. If you have seen enough, get to the main point. Ha hit. I beg your pardon. We also need to be concerned about safety. Kong Ilhan continued speaking without any panic. Once again, we didn't come to fight. What if we came with a good offer? I watched Kong Ilhan's party. None of them had a flag. How can I believe that? Hmm, won't you know if you check the rules? If we came to fight, we would have come with the representative. Only the representative can occupy the flagpole. It was true. It was obviously true. What is the offer? We came to ask for an alliance. At these words, the members of Chung Muro started murmuring. Kong Ilhan shook. Ah, you are uncertain because Chung Muro just opened. In fact, the fourth scenario has already been in progress for two days. Two days. Yu Sangha reflexively muttered. Kong Ilhan nodded. Yes, the third scenario is slightly different in content and duration between stations, perhaps you didn't know this. Ah, the third scenario was just over but I already knew this. In the original story, Chung Muro was a latecomer in the scenario compared to other stations. In other words, we started with some losses in terms of information. In that sense, Kong Ilhan's alliance offer was a timely temptation. Information was required and this was beyond our strength. The problem was what did the other side gain? It is a difficult offer to accept. I don't know if you have an ulterior motive. Herm, Dokia C's words are definitely right. You won't believe in the alliance so I will first state what we will get from the alliance. In short, Chungmuro isn't our, target, station. How can I believe that? You can believe it or not. But please think about it. If Chungmuro was our target, we would have dragged the main force of our station here. To be honest, the flagpoles are most vulnerable just after the station is open. It wasn't very persuasive. What will you do if our target station is Dongdemon? Haha, <laughs> there is no need to worry about that. We already know the station that is targeting us. We didn't come to you for no reason. I see. Let's clear the scenario by helping each other, since our targets are different, is that what you mean? That's right. Isn't it good to help each other at this time? Kong Ilhan smiled and nodded. I was silent for a moment and Yusenga opened her mouth. I have a question. Kong Ilhan grinned at Yusenga. Yes, what is it pretty girl? Why did you come to Chungmuro? If you came from Dongdemon, you could have made an alliance with other stations. It was an unexpectedly sharp point. Kong Ilhan looked slightly confused. Oh, that, as I told you, Chungmuro just opened. I mean, um, the other stations have already formed alliances. But I thought that Chungmuro wouldn't have, haha, I have to ask, has Chungmuro already made an alliance? Herm. No, we haven't. Kong Ilhan looked happy at my words. Then form an alliance with Dongdemon. You won't regret it. Above all, we have a, winning solution, for this scenario. A winning solution. Yes, in fact, our group knows the hidden secrets of this scenario. Kong Ilhan grinned and drove in the last nail. We will tell you if you agree to an alliance with us. After a while, I sat with Yu Sangha, Li Hunsung and Yung Hee Wan to exchange opinions. Yu Sangha spoke. What do we do? Should we establish an alliance? I'm going to disagree. I can't believe them. I feel uneasy. Once Yung Hee Wan spoke, Li Hunsung gave his opinion. But it wouldn't be bad if they have information about this scenario. Certainly, we can't fully trust them as Hee Wan SSI said. Finally, they looked at me. I shrugged. Then for now, once we made a decision, we called over Kong Ilhan and the Dongdemon group, who were looking around Chungmuro Station. I will make a decision once I have met your representative. Oh, is that so? Where is your representative? At Dongdemon. If you don't mind, I will guide you. Please do so. We got on the back seats of the bikes they came on. The people I took with me were Li Hunsung, Yu Sangha and Yung Hiwan. Li Gilyang was left behind with Gong Pildu. 
It was because he overused diverse communication and hadn't woken up yet. Of course, I didn't forget to give an order to protect Lee Gilyang. Then let's go. There was the sound of the bikes turning on and we started moving. Once 20 seconds had passed, I opened my mouth. By the way Kong Ilhan SSI. Yes. Those people, did they say anything else about Chung Muro? Huh. What does da? For example, if you come here then there will be a very scary man called Yu Jong Hyuk. Haha, <laughs> what are you saying? I gave a signal and our party jumped from the back seats of the bikes at the same time. Yu Sangha SSI. Yu Sangha used binding thread and tied the four bikes together. There was a roar as the bikes collided with each other. Kwong. Og. The Dongdemon members screamed as they crashed down. Fortunately, our party was safely hanging in the air due to Yu Sangha's thread tied to the ceiling. It was a type of seat belt. It was an incredible feat that made Yu Sangha seem like Spider-Man. Kong Ilhan was covered in dust as he lay on the ground and shouted. W what are you doing? What am I doing? That is what I want to ask. I looked at the dark tunnel. In order to ambush us, you should raise the level of the stealth a bit more. It was enough for me to detect despite not having absolute senses. Kong Ilhan noticed something was wrong and screamed. Attack them. At almost the same time, people hiding all over the tunnel emerged. I knew it. They were aiming for my flag. The character, Yung Hiwan, has activated the exclusive skill, Judgment Time. The absolute good constellations have agreed to the use of this skill. Judgment Time, has been activated. Hey, I thought it might not, isn't this a complete mess? Yung Hiwan laughed with a surprised expression. It is hard to find bad people. Yung Hiwan spoke in a cold voice and her sword flashed through the dark tunnel. Her eyes were red from using Demon Slayer. The bloody light swept through the darkness as people were slaughtered. W what? This crazy girl. Og. Siokaik. Siokaik. There were 10 Pipe but Yung Hiwan killed them without a hitch. It was a scene that showed how much Yung Hiwan's stats had risen after the hidden dungeon was cleared. I also used white pure star energy and easily suppressed Kong Ilhan. A few hours ago, I was dealing with Yu Jonghyuk. This guy wasn't very difficult. Dokya SSI, Chungyuro. I looked back at Lee Hunsung's cry and saw that there was a commotion in Chungyuro. They were ambushed as soon as we left Chungyuro. I left Kong Ilhan to be tied up by Yu Sangha and rushed to Chungyuro. There was already a melee happening on the platform. But I decided to watch the situation for a while. There was something I needed to check first. What are these bastards? Dozens of group members that ran from the Myeongdong direction waved weapons at the people of Chungyuro. By the way, the weapons they were carrying were familiar. That is Kim C's weapon. The Landlord Alliance members who headed towards Myeongdong had already been hit by these guys. Indeed, the wanderers who lost their group were just seen as living coins. The most noticeable enemy was one wearing a red flag around his head like a bandana. Gain control later. It will be over if I just put the flag in. That's right. He was the representative. Chapter 45, Episode 10 Future War 4. Push through to the flag holder. Based on the direction he was running from, he seemed to be the representative of the Myeongdong group. They had joined hands with Dongdemon. The Myeongdong representative, Kim Hunte, has used the additional effect of the red flag. It was someone who already changed the color of the flag. Furthermore, it was red. In fact, the key to struggle for the flag was the color of the flag. It was from white to red, navy, brown, purple and black. The flag provided increasingly better effects as the color changed. The Myeongdong group has received the buff effect of the red flag. Attack and defense has increased by 5% each. If the flag was already red, it meant he had occupied one or more stations or had killed the flag bearer of another station. Looking at his eyes, he seemed to have pretty good fighting power. But, he shouldn't have aimed for Chungyuro. The character, Gong Pildu, has activated, Arm Zone LB. 6. The character, Gong Pildu, has activated, Private Property LB. 6. Gong Pildu didn't move too late. Trivial pups. I was glad I didn't have to use the command rights. If this was the case, I could leave Chungyuro's defense to Gong Pildu. The eight mini turrets fired at the same time towards the Myeongdong group running towards the flagpole. W what? A walk. Do 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 do. Pieces of flesh flew through the air. Gong Pildu was truly a scam. Kuwak. Huddle up. The Myeongdong group gathered together in a tight defense formation but it wasn't enough to endure the shells from the level 6 arm zone. It was a rewarding sight that made leaving him to clear the emergency defense scenario alone worth it. Kwong. 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 How many shots were fired? 
The enhanced magic bullets caused the Myeongdong group to be riddled with hold and collapse. Gong Pildu was scary as an enemy but strong as an ally. T there wasn't information about this. Retreat. But there was no place for them to run away. Where are you going? The special option of unbroken faith is activated. The ether property is converted to fire. Quack. The ether blade made of flames created a wall of fire that blocked their escape. The moment that the confused people hesitated, Gong Pildu shot at them. Do 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 do. Be pierced through. Quickle. Cough. The Myeongdong representative was hit in the head by a magic bullet and the flag was released. Gong Pildu's eyes shone as he found the flag. Sheesh, this brat. Do you want me to step on your back again? The running Gong Pildu stiffened. Damn. I immediately picked up the Myeongdong flag that had fallen onto the tracks. Focus vanished from the eyes of the desperate Myeongdong group members. You have won the flag of the Myeongdong group. Your white flag has absorbed the cumulative achievements of the red flag. Your white flag has evolved into a red flag. I felt a stronger force swirling inside my body. You are one step closer to the king's road. The flags after the red flag improved not just the abilities representative but also the surrounding group members. Apart from overall stats or S grade and above items, the flag was one of the few ways to improve basic combat power. Due to this, groups aimed at stations other than the target station. The other, king candidates, would have already entered a full-fledged war to change the color of their flags. The stronger they became, the more they could. Enjoy this world. The remaining members of the Myeongdong group are waiting for your decision. I grabbed one of the wounded Myeongdong members in the area and asked. Why did you aim for Chungmuro? I had realized something when I first heard Kong Ilhan's words. It was true that Chungmuro had just opened but it didn't make sense for them to rush in like they had been waiting. The observations of the party and the strange look he made when he knew I was the representative. These guys knew about this station from the beginning. I brought my blade to the man's neck and asked. Tell me, who gave you the information of Chungyuro? The most likely people were the prophets. The guys I met in Theater Dungeon mentioned, hidden information, that other people didn't know. I had been searching through ways of survival but I never saw the group name prophets. If so, who were they? There were two hypotheses. One, due to an unknown variable, a new prophet had appeared apart from Anna Croft. The second, besides me, there was another, reader. Honestly, I thought it was probably the latter. The, prophet, attribute wasn't so easy to obtain. Furthermore, prophets was a plural. Well, I could check it from now on. I looked at Gong Pildu and said, by the way, why didn't you act more moderately? Why should I show mercy to those running wild? Gong Pildu looked annoyed. Unfortunately, the people of Myeongdong group weren't able to answer because they had been hit by too many bullets. As soon as I asked them a question, they coughed up blood and died. In the end, I could only ask one person. I looked down at Kong Ilhan who was behind guarded by Lee Hunsung. His eyes rolled uneasily while he was tied up with binding thread. Yu Sangha asked, was everything planned from the beginning? I thought there was a high probability. As soon as the station opens, two groups will unite and attack. It was a prior promise. Saying things with such a good face. Yu Sangha's expression became dark. Are you sorry? There isn't going to be an alliance. A little bit. Don't believe in people too much. Things won't be as easy as you think in the future. I know. Still, if possible, I wanted to believe. I was able to come here because I believed in someone. Yu Sangha looked at me. Hey, how long are the two of you going to talk? Quickly pry the information out. Young Hiwan interrupted us. Indeed, now wasn't the time to give life advice. I released the thread blocking Kong Ilhan's mouth. Kong Ilhan was trying to stay calm. What will you do with me now? It depends on how much information you can give me. Are you basing the standards on usability? This guy talked back even in this situation, there was more to him than I thought. If so, I had to use a hard line method. Young Hiwan said, in any case, the constellations see him as, wicked. How about trying torture? Why bother with torture? Just kill him if he doesn't speak. Huh. I pulled out my sword without hesitation. Kong Ilhan trembled as he looked up at me. From now on, I will count to three. If you don't open your mouth in that time, you will die. There is no reversal. I deliberately triggered white pure star energy and inserted the sword into the ground. One. Kudududuk. The ground was scratched with the power of white pure star energy as the blade started to move towards him. Fragments of the floor flew towards his face. 2. The heat of the blade warmed his face as it approached his nose. In a short time, the ether blade would cut his eyeballs. 
3. Dong Myo Station. I smiled. Torture. There was no need for that. Gong Ilhan gasped for breath and explained, the people from Dong Myo. Station gave us information about Chung Muro. Dong Myo, who was there? Who was it? He called himself a prophet. By the way, this guy's condition was strange. His eyes were rolling and his tongue hung out like a dead person. I had an ominous feeling. Surely it wasn't, suggestion. Yu Senga SSI, hurry and block his mouth with a thread. Fortunately, Yu Senga's threat blocked this guy's mouth before it could close. Using suggestion to control information from leaking, they were more meticulous than I thought. On the other hand, it was easier for me to solve the problem. Suggestion was a skill that could only be used face to face. I looked down at Kong Ilhan and stated, You are a lucky guy. If he was present, I could definitely identity one of the prophets. Before I went on the full-fledged search, I headed to the roof of the theater. He still hasn't woken up. Maybe it was because she didn't know I was coming but Lee Jaehee shook. Yu Jong Hyuk was still unconscious and lying on her knees. Jerk, he was the main character yet he wasn't going through any hardship. Meanwhile, I was the tired one despite being the reader. How is it downstairs? Don't worry and rest. Master, will he be okay? He will be fine, although there might be some trauma left. Trauma. His mental state is more fragile than a child's. He will be a bit better after a good sleep. It sounds like you know a lot. I know him the best in this world. I spoke in a dry tone and pulled out some paper, writing on it with a pen. I filled it with notes and handed it to Lee Jaehee. Don't read it but give it to Yu Jong Hyuk when he wakes up. Do you understand? I understand. She said so but Lee Jaehee would definitely read it. However, Lee Jaehee wouldn't be able to understand it since it was filled with things only Yu Jong Hyuk would know. By the way, did the information on the paper also look like for the constellations? The constellation, prisoner of the golden headband, hates. Indeed, I was turning around when Lee Jaehee opened her mouth. By the way, can I ask you something? What? Earlier, with Master. Master and a Juicy. Somehow I seemed to know what Lee Jaehee would say. Damn, Lee Jaehee heard as well as Young Hiwon. I've been stupid. I only considered the constellations and never thought about the humans listening. Yu Jong Hyuk would laugh at my stupidity. What was a good excuse? Well, that. You too. What? I decided to feign ignorance. Lee Jaehi's expression became more serious. I mean, Ajusi's words. So what? Wake up you jerk. Don't fall into those sentiments. Lee Jaehi imitated my voice and shouted. I felt embarrassed suddenly hearing my words emerge from someone else's mouth. For the first time, that. That determination. Have you already forgotten? Quote ellipsis question mark quote. Wasn't something strange. This child, she almost heard it at the filtered level. I came here because of you. Why are you alone? We are together. No, wait a minute. I've always been around you. Don't lose hope. Think of the child. That isn't what I. Why did I come here if you are alone? I stared at Lee Jaehee for a moment. No, how could she hear it this way? S something like that. A juicy, you and master. I sighed. Think what you want. Indeed. Don't worry, I'll give him this love letter. I shrugged and turned around. Behind my back, Lee Jaehee's bullshit continued. Wait. How did you give birth to a child? Ask Yu Jong Hyuk. Yes, Yu Jong Hyuk, I leave everything to you. The next moment, indirect messages exploded in my head. Some constellations are greatly affected by the truth of the filtering. The constellation prisoner of the golden headband respects your taste. The constellation, demon like judge of fire, likes your comradeship. The constellation, secretive plotter, thinks it is ridiculous. 600 coins have been sponsored. Damn, there were other idiots. In any case, I told Yu Jong Hyuk what I needed to. I hurried through the theater. During the time Yu Jong Hyuk was the sleeping prince, I had to gain as much benefits as possible. Chapter 46. Episode 10 Future War 5. After coming down from the theater, I headed straight to Myeongdong Station with Lee Hunsung and Yu Sangha. Dongmyo Station was important but there was something to be done first. I killed the Myeongdong representative and taken the flag so I had to hurry and occupy the empty station. Lee Hunsung spoke in a worried tone. Is it okay with just us? There won't be a fight. I will decide what to do with them. If I leave it alone, they will die soon. The wanderers who lost their group would become prey to other groups if they weren't lucky. Just like the Landlord Alliance members who left Chungmuro Station. But the moment we arrived at Myeongdong Station, we saw an unexpected sight. The people in Myeongdong Station had already been hit by someone. It was also very gruesome. I saw a group of men standing near Myeongdong Station. 
the men were flustered and quickly fled in the direction of Hoyoung Station. It wasn't easy to chase them because they had bikes. It was as if they knew I was coming. There was more than one or two odd things. Lee Hunsung asked, who are these people? What happened? I'm not sure. Even Dokya SSI doesn't know. Lee Hunsung gulped nervously. Fortunately, the flag holder of Myeongdong Station was empty. Currently there is no group occupying Myeongdong Station. Are you sure you want to take over the station? I plugged the flag into the flag holder and pulled it out again. Then a flag that was the same as mine appeared in the flag holder. You have occupied Myeongdong Station. A station that has been occupied can't be taken from you unless the main base or flag is taken away. Currently occupied, Chungmuro Main Base Myeongdong. The achievement points of the red flag are rising. The red color of the flag turned darker. Your influence has expanded by taking over a new station. The hidden scenario has arrived. The King's Road has begun. Plus. Hidden scenario, King's Road. Category. Hidden. Difficulty. A. Uh, clear conditions. Take over a minimum of 10 stations within the time limit. Time limit. 10 days. Reward. The attribute of a. King. Failure. If you can't take over a minimum of one station per day, you and your group members will all die. Plus, I finally arrived at the terrible hidden scenario. Once I started this quest, I couldn't turn back. There were only two fates for a king. Become a king or die. The new king candidate has started to walk along his road. From now on, it was the full-fledged flag struggle. I returned to Chungmuro, gathered the party members and told them about the hidden scenario. Young Hee-won made an interested expression while Lee Hun-sung looked confused. Yu Sangha was as anxious as always. It sounds like a difficult scenario, Dokya SSI, will it be okay? It's okay. An angel or a fool. In this situation, they were worried rather than jealous about the hidden scenario. Lee Hun-sung said, I'm glad that Dokya SSI is the king candidate. Thank you. Then should I call you your majesty? I was hit in the head by Young Hee-won after being touched by Lee Hun-sung's serious words. I don't want that. Your Majesty, based on this hidden scenario, shouldn't we go occupy a new station right away? You should think about the lives of your subjects. Young Hee-won said sarcastically. I nodded. I think we need to find out about the people who attacked us. I'll go straight to Dongmyo. Young Hee-won SSI and Lee Hun-sung SSI, will you go with me? Yu Sangha raised her hand at my words. Then I, Yu Sangha SSI will stay here. Ah, really? On the other hand, more. I listened to Yu Sangha's voice and it sounded glum. Perhaps Yu Sangha was thinking that she was useless. Her damage wasn't as strong as Yung Hee Won and she didn't have a strong physique like Lee Hun Sung. In addition, she didn't have a powerful trump card like Gilyang. Yu Sangha SSI. Yes, all her previous specs had become obsolete in this new world. But she was too good to be jealous of other people. Thus, her inferiority complex was quietly festering. Yu Sangha, not everyone can do the same things well. Yes, I am aware of that. Yu Sangha smiled weakly. I spoke carefully so that she wouldn't feel it was an admonishment. Do you remember the words that you said on the subway? Dokya has a solo life and I will. I will have an ivory life. Yes, I remember. I wrote it on the notepad of my smartphone. Why did she look so elated? In any case, I couldn't hate it. I continued speaking. Yu Sangha SSI has things to do here. I can't leave the unconscious Gilyang alone. I need someone to monitor Gong Pildu and to control the nervous group members. Yu Sangha's eyes shook. Besides, the Hoiyan forces must be kept in check. They might attack while we're away. Gong Pildu is here but Yu Sangha's binding thread might be necessary. See can I do this role well? Yu Sangha spoke weakly because of her low self-esteem. Hey everyone. In that way, I will give Yu Sangha SSI a job position. What do you think? Lee Hunsung and Yung Hee Wan thought for a moment before nodding. Okay, I can trust it if it is Yu Sangha. King, if you wish then do so. I glared at Yung Hee Wan. Did she think that was funny right now? You are using the unique permissions of a representative. Chungmuro Station's representative, Kim Dokya is transferring some of his authority to group member, Yu Sangha. Group member, Yu Sangha, has become the deputy of Chungmuro Station. In the future, group member, Yu Sangha, can deal out punishments on behalf of the representative. Yu Sangha looked at me with stunned eyes and stuttered. She looked terrified. G giving, giving this position to me. I will leave it to Yu Sangha SSI. I meant it. Once again, not everyone could do the same things well. Based on what I remembered, Yu Sangha would be appropriate for this. Yu Sangha was the best person in the human resources department, not someone else. 
Oh, I'll do my best. Yu Sangha bowed before slowly raising her head. Tears could be seen in her eyes. We headed straight for the tunnel on the east side. We had to pass three stops before arriving at Dongmayo. We moved with the fainted Kong Ilhen. Honestly, taking this guy was a burden but I needed him to identify the faces. When I looked back at Chung Yuro, I could hear Yu Sangha's voice. Everyone, please gather. As I expected, Yu Sangha worked harder in the shadows. The people were already organized and were receiving their orders. Sentries were set up and people were put in charge of different areas. Some of the landlords said they wouldn't listen to Yu Sangha but Chung Yuro Station's deputy, Yu Sangha has used the punishment. I vaguely heard someone moaning. Was this okay? Well, it should be fine. Yung Hiwan looked at my face and said, good job. I felt that Yu Sangha had been a bit depressed. I didn't select Yu Sangha SSI. Because I was thinking of her emotions. I thought Yu Sangha SSI would do really well. Ah, is that so? Then please me something later. It should fit me. How about an executioner? Forget it. Yung Hiwan grumbled and turned her head away. It was good after all the jokes she played. But that gangster on the roof, is it okay to leave him? Oh, you mean Yu Jonghyuk. I guess his name is similar. It will probably be fine. It sounds like you know him very well. What is it? That, I thought for a moment before asking. He won SSI, do you have a younger sibling? Quote ellipsis question mark. Yes. Why? A brother or a sister? A brother. How old is he? He is one year younger. How is it having a brother? Annoying. He easily defies me and I had to take him to school instead of my mother. Young He Won feel silent as she was complaining about her brother. She gazed somewhere in the air. Then I asked her, but now you are worried about him right? Well, we are family. I am similar. Dokya SSI also has a younger brother. Nope, I'm talking about Yu Jonghyuk. Ah, Yung Hiwan looked at me and nodded. Then do you like or hate him? I hate him. I fought with many people because of him. I wasn't the only reader of ways of survival in the early days. Quite a few people followed along out of curiosity up to the 10th chapter. There were also 12 readers at the 50th chapter. There was a guy who liked Kim Namwoon, while I argued with him. I wonder if any of the people who fought with me back then were alive. Maybe the people I was going to catch now was one of them. You two, you seem to have become very close. Lee Hunsung interrupted and I suddenly realized I was walking too close to Yung Hee Won. Yung Hee Won smiled. Why, soldier a juicy? Are you jealous? Herm, it isn't like that. Come to think of it, didn't Lee Hunsung join the army right after going to a male high school? I felt sorry for Lee Hunsung when I thought about the setting. It seems we have arrived at Dongdiman History and Culture Park Station. In fact, the entrance of Dongdiman History and Culture Park Station could be seen in the distance. We nervously stuck to the tunnel wall and looked around. It was in case troops were waiting. But this worry was pointless. Yung Hiwan muttered. It is strange. There are no sentries. The fact that there was no guards while struggle for the flag was ongoing meant that the station had already been eaten by another group. Once we confirmed this, we immediately approached the flag holder. The station has already been occupied by, Dongmayo Station. If you want to occupy the station, take the flag of Dongmayo Station or occupy its flag holder. It was as expected. Then Kong Ilhan's body twitched. His body was shaking like he was having seizures and his condition was strange. I released the thread blocking his mouth and Kong Ilhan shouted. And no, what is this all of a sudden? D Dongdiman, Dongdiman Station. Saliva spilled from Kong Ilhan's mouth as he stuttered. I felt something and unintentionally put a hand on his shoulder. Then, the character Kong Ilhan is now a wanderer. It was evident that Kong Ilhan's affiliation to Dongdiman had changed. Yung Hiwan asked, what is happening? It seems that Dongdiman Station has been taken over. Huh, suddenly everything made sense. Yes, the people who leaked the information had this in mind. A double trap. They incited the Myeongdong group and Dongdiman group to strike Chungmuro because they knew the two groups would die in Chungmuro. While the main force were gone, they wanted to take Myeongdong and Dongdiman. The unidentified people at Myeongdong Station probably also belonged to them. But, how did they know we would win? They couldn't know about my presence. The representative of Chungmuro Station in the third turn was originally. All right, that jerk. Was this what they aimed for? I was certain. The prophets who created this plan were surely. At this moment, Lee Hunsung reacted. People are coming. A group of people were approaching from the Dongdiman Tunnel. On the surface, they were a group with a considerably good weapons. The items seemed to have an average of AC grade or above. 
It wouldn't be easy to arm them to this degree already, it was unbelievable power. The man in the center of the group spoke to us first. The man had a slim build and wore all types of items on his arms and neck. A. Kong Ilhan SSI. Geez, you brought a needless load of crap to me. Kong Ilhan was shaking and he fainted with foam around his mouth. I wondered, perhaps this guy. The exclusive skill, character list is activated. A moment later, amazing messages were heard. The information of this person can't be read in, character list. This person isn't registered in, character list. Look at this. The man looked at us. Is there going to be a self-introduction? Or, the group of men simultaneously pulled out weapons. I took the lead to reply. We are from Chungmuro. Chungmuro. At this moment, sparks popped in the air. Someone is using explore attribute on you. The exclusive skill fourth wall has blocked explore attribute. The man stumbled like he had been shocked. He hesitated for a moment before turning bewildered eyes towards me. I'm sorry, what is your name? I glanced at Yung Hee Won and Lee Hun Sung once. Then I smiled and said towards the man. I spoke in my coldest and heaviest voice. I am Yu Jong Hyuk. Chapter 47. Episode 10 Future War 6. It wasn't an illusion. The guy's eyes instantly widened when he heard my name. Don't tell me. He carefully observed my face. That reminded me, what was the description of Yu Jong Hyuk in Ways of Survival? There wasn't a detailed appearance but the word, handsome, was attached. And my face. Could this be considered a fictional allowance? What is it? Ah, nothing. His tone became politer. I didn't know what was going on in there but his head was probably in a complicated state right now. At least one thing was certain. The man in front of me had clearly read ways of survival. I became more certain because he wasn't registered in character list and he was surprised to hear Yu Jong Hyuk's name. His eyes urgently returned to Lee Hunsung by my side. It was inspecting the attribute, I see. Was he digging up information? I deliberately gave him some time to observe Lee Hunsung before opening my mouth. Impertinent person. You better move your eyes carefully. Hyuk. He confirmed Lee Hunsung's name and also noticed that he could view my character window with detect attributes. I didn't know how far he had read in ways of survival but there were a few characteristics that could be used to identify Yu Jong Hyuk. One of them was the SS skill, Sage's eyes which allowed for universal detection and protection against detection skills. Now he would be convinced that I had Sage's eyes. Did you think I wouldn't know that you peeked at me with a B-grade skill? The spasm started from the man's eyes and spread through his face. Then his eyes wandered to the red flag I carried on my back. It was as I guessed. There were limits to the evidence that he could find about Yu Jong Hyuk. You son of a bitch. One of the men in the group hadn't figured out the situation and pointed a spear at me. The moment that Yung Hee Won and Lee Hun Sung was about to come. Forward. Piak. The man's head burst and red blood splattered like a fountain. The group immediately screamed. From beyond the blood, I saw a serious looking man. Look at this bastard. He slowly walked through the crowd towards me. I'm sorry. Such a distinguished person had to see a horrible sight. Who are you? The man tried to manage his expression at my cold tone. He was pretty good. If I was him, I would like like my heart was going to burst. I will formally introduce myself. My name is Lee Sung Kuk. I am the deputy in charge of Dong Myo Station. This guy approached and bowed before me. I liked it. Then I started the full-fledged Yu Jong Hyuk cosplay. After I snapped at him, I opened my mouth and spoke in a cold voice. Dong Myo Station. I see. Then get out. Huh. This is my station from now on so get out. This guy's mouth dropped open. What? You aren't going to listen to me. I looked down at the flag holder that had the Dong Myo flag. Lee Sung Kuk belatedly understood my point. T that is impossible. You can't transfer a station already occupied. Do you think I'm a fool? You are the deputy. Yes. If you have the authority of a deputy, the station can be transferred at will. You didn't know. Quote ellipsis exclamation mark quote. If you don't take it out by the time I count to three, I will cut your neck. 1. Lee Sung Kuk's face stiffened. The men slowly surrounded me, giving off a nasty atmosphere. Yung Hee Won and Lee Hun Sung were nervous because they didn't know why I was suddenly doing such a crazy thing. I continued speaking. Does it sound like I am joking? 2. Was it hard to remember after reading the novel 10 years ago? It looked like he forgot who Yu Jong Hyuk was. Then I had to jog his memory. The exclusive skill, White Pure Star Energy LB, 2, has been activated. Blade of Faith is activated. Cheeing. I saw Lee Sung Kuk's pale face beyond the burning white blade. This was a game of chicken. Remembering Yu Jong Hyuk meant he knew a bit about who Yu Jong Hyuk was. 
If he knew how ruthless the early Yu Jong Hyuk was then he would never be able to continue this game. If he didn't know Yu Jong Hyuk properly, then it didn't matter. I would play the game and run away if we were going to lose. Now I had enough strength. At this moment, Lee Sung Kuk hurriedly shouted. W wait a minute. I'll give it to you. This brat, he had read ways of survival. But he didn't read it properly. No need. Huh. You answered too late. Yes. This place isn't enough. Give me Dong Demon as well. Young Hee Won made an astonished expression by my side. She looked like she was ready to act. But she couldn't go out. No, I had to act. Because I was now Yu Jong Hyuk. I had to speak more nonsense in order to make him believe I was Yu Jong Hyuk. I aimed my sword at Lee Sung Kuk and declared. If you don't do this, there won't be a deal. Be but. I will count to three again. One. Lee Sung Kuk's expression changed in real time. He was starting to believe that I was Yu Jong Hyuk. The protagonist of a novel was standing in front of him. How would he cope? The way he acted here would determine my relationship with these guys in the future. I, I can give you Dong Demon history and culture park. But, but, I don't have the authority to hand over Dong Demon, if you don't mind, would you like to meet our representative? It was a great response. It was just the level of prey that I wanted. Lee Sung Kuk kept on talking. Yu Jong Hyuk Nim's reputation is well known. Our representative will be greatly looking forward to seeing Yu Jong Hyuk Nim. Please give our group a chance to talk with Yu Jong Hyuk Nim. You know me. How can I not know you? Jong Hyuk Nim. Lee Sung Kuk shut his mouth the moment he said this. He thought he said something strange. Yu Jong Hyuk couldn't be famous this early on. Anyway, it will be an honor if you accompany me. I stared at him and replied. Yes, this level was acceptable. Okay, show me the way. Lee Sung Kuk's expression brightened and he added useless words. Don't worry. I swear on the king's honor that I won't harm you Jong Hyuk Nim. Dong Myo Station's deputy, Lee Sung Kuk has sworn on the king's honor. If he breaks this vow, Lee Sung Kuk can be punished by you. What a great guy. But he did the right thing if he really thought I was Yu Jong Hyuk. Wasn't his understanding of Yu Jong Hyuk better than I expected? Then he would pay for it. Hurt me. You guys. Of course, none of us can lay a finger on Yu Jong Hyuk Nim. Ha. Ha ha. Then. This way. Just a minute. Yes. I pointed to the flag holder. Give me that. Quote ellipsis quote. You have received the transfer of Dong Demon History and Culture Park. Currently occupied. Chungmuro Main Base Myeongdong, Dong Demon History and Culture Park. The achievement points of the red flag are rising. The flag was changing before my eyes. It was a good start. No, wasn't this too easy? Then let's go. I watched Lee Sung Kuk's shaking shoulders and felt strange. Wouldn't it be okay to continue living as Yu Jong Hyuk? We were guided by Lee Sung Kuk towards Dong Myo Station. The Dong Myo members didn't know my identity, but Lee Sung Kuk's attitude was so stubborn that they couldn't protest. I walked with my party at the rear of the group. Lee Hun Sung hesitated before looking at me and opening his mouth. Excuse me, Dokej. Kook. Young Hee Won noticed quickly and hit Lee Hun Sung's stomach. There was the sound of wind being blown from the lungs and Lee Hun Sung moaned. As expected from Young Hee Won. She didn't know the exact situation but she knew how to match the mood. I muttered out of the side of my mouth. You know what to do without me telling you. Yes, roughly. I watched Young Hee Won and then Kong Il Hin being carried by Lee Hun Sung. The most important person right now was that guy. Make sure to restrain that guy. Understood. Young Hee Won nodded and made a strange gesture. She kneeled in front of me and cried out in an exaggerated voice. Yes Jong Hyuk, I will do as you say. Anyone who saw it would think about medieval knights. The funny thing was that the surprised Lee Hun Sung did the same thing. I I will do as you say. Lee Sung Kuk, at the head of the group, was surprised to hear these two voices. It was embarrassing but the result was good. I couldn't read Lee Sung Kuk's inner thoughts but it would be like this if I could read it. He must be Yu Jong Hyuk. Lee Sung Kuk met my gaze and quickly turned his head back to the front. This was how a main character felt. Not long afterwards, we arrived at Dong Myo Station. They were a pretty powerful group seeing as many people were on the platform. There were some people with weapons like Lee Sung Kuk's group, but most of them didn't have any. They were probably wanderers from other stations who lost their group. Move faster. I I understand. They were slaughtering the ground rats while being supervised by the Dong Myo members or disassembling the corpses of the monsters to make equipment. The so-called, slave, class. It was a common scenery in the Age of Kings. Yung Hee Won frowned. This isn't a real kingdom. I spoke to Yung Hee Won. Don't be disgusted. Wait here and look at the situation. Yes. 
I'm ignoring Young Hee Won and started to observe the surroundings. It was to take into account additional variables. Dong Mayo was quite important in the original novel. If I remembered correctly, the representative of this place was the invalid. But the story was likely to have changed if the prophets intervened. I looked at the back of Lee Sung Kook's head. At this point, I had two questions. One, did Lee Sung Kook have his own text version? Two, how many prophets were there? And if I had to say a third question, did they have the same skills as me? It didn't seem like it. Otherwise he would have used character list instead of detect attributes at the beginning. Besides, he didn't seem to have the fourth wall when I used character list. In other words, he was a case like Lee Gilyong. Well, I read over 3,000 chapters. It would be unfair if they received the same perks as me when they only read a few chapters. Speaking of which, I don't think they had a text version. By the way, what was this person looking so hard at? Lee Sung Kook was looking at his smartphone. 5,000 coins have been invested in agility. Agility LB. 22 Agility LB. 30. An amazing agility lies in your body. I approached Lee Sung Kook like a ghost. What are you looking at so hard? H huh. It is nothing. The guy hurriedly hid his smartphone. It was a flash but I saw the screen. A yellow background and familiar speech bubbles. I felt a sense of discomfort. If my eyes weren't wrong, I had definitely seen a chat room on the screen. The internet. Right here. Dot. Dot. Chapter 48. Episode 10 Future War 7. The internet, it wasn't possible. Since the scenario started, the internet had been shut down all over Seoul due to the activation of the Dokabi channels. No, wait a minute. This was Dong Myo Station. Ah, right. Then the internet was possible. Lee Sung Kook looked at me with an uneasy expression and opened his mouth. Excuse me, Yu Jong Hyuk Nim. What? We've arrived. The representative is waiting inside. I saw a medium sized tent roughly set up in the middle of the platform. The representative had an assortment of goods. Let's go. Lee Sung Kook bowed his head and guided me. The inside of the tent was quite luxurious. It was unbelievably luxurious for such a shabby tent. There was a red carpet and a bed that seemed to have been stolen from a luxury hotel. There was a round table for a meeting and a small desk with a computer. The most interesting thing was the boy concentrated on surfing the internet. The face seemed only a few years older than Gilyang. The boy had dark circles and sat on the chair in his pajamas. And there was a navy blue flag held tightly in his arms. Amazing. This boy had already passed the halfway mark of the King's Road. The exclusive skill, character list is activated. Character information. Name. Han Donghun. Age. 17 years old. Constellation support. Shadow behind the curtain. Private attribute. Noble and valid hermit hero. Exclusive skills. Wide area internet LB. 5. Comments manipulation LB. 3. Keyboard attack LB. 3. Small eater LB. 6. Sound wave blocking LB. 2. Stigma. Lack of presence LB. 2. Overall stats. Physique LB. 10. Strength LB. 10. Agility LB. 19. Magic power LB. 26. Overall evaluation. A person who is the peak of the noble invalid hermit type. His wide area internet skill installs a virtual LAN cable to specific devices through the Dokabi channels. He has an amazing ability to incite public opinion but has weak mental defenses. The sponsor is very dissatisfied with the circumstances of his present incarnation. Asterisk currently under a powerful hypnosis. I clearly remembered. Dong Myo's king. Maybe this boy would soon become the hermit king of shadows. The poor boy king was busy replying to internet comments. Is it true that Seoul is now isolated? KK Gangnam. Land prices will fall tilde tilde are the rich people crying. And it isn't just Seoul but all the capitals in the world. Tokyo, Beijing, all of them are trapped in that dome. Isn't there a plan to recapture Seoul? Didn't it start yesterday? KKK but now all the people inside have awakened powers KKK it isn't a crazy fantasy. It became a fantasy the moment the monsters appeared. The long familiar internet screen looked weird. I once again felt it was real. Indeed, this was the situation we were in now. On the outside of the dome, many people still didn't know the truth. The boy king's fingers started to move. You guys, have you ever heard of the prophets? I don't know what they are but they claim to know the secrets of this situation HH. Character, Han Donghun, has activated comments manipulation LB. 3. As soon as the activation message popped up, dozens of comments appeared under the boy's one. Who would believe that? I thought that as well, but not anymore, I saw a prophecy not long ago and it all came true. 
L, L, T, L, short form for, real, where is their place of action? Shoot me the address. The comment started to spread all over the internet with tremendous power. It was surprising. They were already using the ability this way. Representative Han Donghun, Lee Sungkook called out and the boy raised his head. A guest has come. Greet him. The boy, Han Donghun's sunken eyes turned to me. H, he, H, hell, oh. Han Donghun wasn't in a normal state. This boy, who was called the, seventh king of Seoul, in ways of survival now looked so haggard. Originally, he avoided humans due to his nature but it wasn't this much. Han Donghun staggered up and sat on a chair at the round table, biting at his nails. Lee Sungkook smiled as if he was satisfied. Now you Jong Hyuk Nim, let's start the talk with the representative in earnest. I gazed at Han Donghun and laughed. Talk, what talk, huh, are you joking with me right now? Han Donghun's eyes were blank. This is the representative. Obviously, the boy was the representative of this station. In name. But, the word representative didn't meant in, reality. How long are you going to make fun of me? You want to make me talk with a doll? I looked back and saw Lee Sungkook's hands shaking. He probably didn't think that Sage's eyes would find out. He opened the smartphone to check something inside. Yu Jong Hyuk Nim, I'm not usually like this. Please forgive me. You are the real power of this station. Isn't that right? Yes. How many other people know? Only a few top executives. Setting up a person with a strong ability is a scarecrow and taking control of the station. It was a strategy often used in ways of survival but it was strange to see it in reality. If you are the real power, why did you bring me here? It was to avoid the attention of other people. I don't know if you have realized, but there is a sound wave blocking skill around the tent. I had expected it. In fact, this was one of Han Donghun's abilities. It must be really important. That's correct. Yu Jong Hyuk Nim, it is important for you and for all of us. All of you. Lee Sung Kuk took a deep breath and opened his mouth. I'm a prophet. To be precise, I am one of them. The information I wanted was finally coming out. I waited silently for his next words. Yu Jong Hyuk Nim, you will never know the enormous joy we are feeling right now. My colleagues and I have been waiting for this day of great victory for Yu Jong Hyuk Nim. Did I hear wrong? This guy started speaking strange words. We know about Yu Jong Hyuk Nim's special ability. A miracle that allows you to go back to the past after dying. In this world, only Yu Jong Hyuk Nim received such special power. I was a bit nervous about the constellations filtering but I decided to keep listening. Maybe Yu Jong Hyuk Nim has already repeated a few lives. You have fought against terrible enemies and struggled against the beings of this world to save people. Enduring alone, lonely memories, we respect your sublime spirit. This jerk, such skillful flattery. Yu Jong Hyuk would be moved to tears if he heard. Later when he was depressed, I would have to tell him these words. But Yu Jong Hyuk Nim should have realized it from your past regressions. Even if you have an outstanding miracle, you alone can't fight against the disasters that will come. Plus, he was right. Yu Jong Hyuk Nim, this time will be different. It is because we are here. We prophets have received a special blessing and have been sent to help you. Wow, look at this. Lee Sung Kuk smiled faintly. You must be wondering, why did these guys who didn't appear last time suddenly show up now? It is very confusion but I hope you can trust us. It is because we have already received a revelation for this day 10 years ago. Revelation. Yes. In our world, there is a revelation that is secretly shared among the prophets. Yu Jong Hyuk exists in it and is a living myth. It is a single revelation that records all of the past and future. Wait. Don't tell me that was the revelation. You don't believe me yet. We already knew that Yu Jong Hyuk Nim would gather Lee Hun Sung. They didn't come with you but you probably already have delusion demon Kim Nam Woon and Maritime Admiral Lee Jai Hee. But that isn't enough. At the very least, according to the revelation, I hid my nervousness and asked. Where is the revelation? Unfortunately, it has been damaged and we can't find the original. Don't worry. We each remember a fragment of the revelation. Through these fragments, we are prepared to walk the right path with you. Oh who? If you live again the way you have always done, Yu Jong Hyuk Nim, will die again. But it will be different with us. Lee Sung Kuk was going in circles. I slowly closed my eyes and said, I see. Lee Sung Kuk hurriedly stopped talking. Maybe he was nervous. Yu Jong Hyuk had lie detection. Of course, I didn't have this skill. But even if I did, his story wouldn't get caught by lie detection. It was because lie detection couldn't distinguish such falsehoods. That's why I felt it even more. It is surprising. It was true. I was shocked beyond surprise. 
This was a great, setting. A setting that was squeezed out in a short amount of time. Human creativity was really great. You are called Sungkook. Yes, you Jong Hyuk Nim. I could write the book Ways of Survival. In order to help the hero who kept dying, readers received a revelation and came from outside the novel. This was more exciting than the real ways of survival. But that was it. Don't go around in circles. This was it. Get straight to the point. I heard the setup so it was time to speak. You have received the revelation of the future. Then what exactly are you going to do? Lee Sungkook quickly replied. We would like to form an alliance with you Jong Hyuk Nim. I it is an alliance in name but it actually means going under you. He was a funny guy. In the end, this was his purpose. Riding the bus that was the main character. I see. An alliance. You want this. Yes. It is an interesting suggestion. This means. I tapped my fingers against the table. But the order is wrong. Huh. How can I form an alliance with people whose identities I don't know? If you want to ally with me, isn't this the first thing you should start with? Am my identity? I. Already. I got up from the chair and sat on the plush bed in the room. Then I crossed my legs and declared. Kneel down. Huh. Kneel. Lee Sungkook was embarrassed for a moment before getting down from his chair while hiding his expression. As his knees slowly reached the floor, I opened my mouth. Tell me your attribute. Once I saw the strong hypnosis on the king candidate, I guessed this guy's attribute. However, I needed to make sure. Lee Sungkook looked up at me with complicated eyes. His mind was probably working hard. He would think this. Yu Jong Hyuk can see my information with Sage's eyes. He already knows it so what is the reason for asking about my information? Lee Sungkook struggled for a moment before speaking. My attribute is, hypnotist. As expected, it was hypnotist. I see. Lee Sungkook looked a bit brighter at my nod. He thought he had passed a test. Is that all? Huh. Lee Sungkook's eyes shook. Oh one more. I nodded. Tell me. T the ninth. The ninth. Lee Sungkook slowly lowered his head like he was ashamed. The ninth person, to get off. I see. This brat, the ninth. No, wait. Then how many people were there? Dot, 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 dot. Chapter 49. Episode 11 Night of the Prophets 4. The ninth person to get off. It is the first time I've heard of this attribute. Oh, you probably wouldn't have. This is the first time us prophets have seen it. This brat was giving an excuse. I wanted to tease him a bit. But it is strange. If you really received the revelation, why aren't you a revelator, instead of, someone who got off. What is with this name? T that, the revelation, no, the book of revelation. Lee Sungkook stuttered. It was delightful watching him try to avoid lie detection. I wondered how honest he could be. Lee Sungkook finally closed his eyes. When I read the book of revelation, I stopped. You stopped reading it. Why didn't you read it? The contents of the book of revelations are very difficult, vast and profound. Then you were the ninth person to get off. Yes. I don't think that will be of much help to me. And no. I can definitely help you. The confused Lee Sungkook continued to speak gibberish while uneasily turning his smartphone off and on. Why do you keep touching that smartphone? I I I'm sorry. I am a smartphone addict. He was trying to get advice from the other ones who got off. But that didn't last long. Are you going on the internet? Why yes, that's right. It is the ability of the hermit. At Lee Sungkook's words, I looked towards Han Donghun. The hypnotized boy was busy tearing at his fingernails with empty eyes. The hermit king of shadows who had the powerful information manipulation ability. This boy couldn't be kept under the prophets. If the prophets became involved in the story in this way, the original novel was ruined and the plans I set up would be wasted. I had to stop these guys before everything went wrong. Do the other prophets also have the attribute of, getting off? Yes. How many are there in total? That, Lee Sungkook hesitated for a moment before opening his mouth. As far as I know, there are 48 people. 48 people. It was smaller than I thought. Considering that chapter 1200 had one hit and chapter 120 had 10 hits, I thought there would be at least 100 people. Lee Sungkook's words resolved my curiosity. I know there were more prophets originally but I expect most of them didn't pass the first scenario. They are dead despite knowing the future. That, we have received the revelation but we only recently realized that it was a, true, revelation. Now it made a little sense. Perhaps at the start of the scenario, few readers thought that a novel that started serialization 10 years ago would become a reality. They might not remember it straight away. I thought it was strange that Lee Sungkook survived. Furthermore, this guy was the ninth person to stop reading so he was literally one of the earliest readers. 
Then how did he survive? I fortunately survived the carriage. If it hadn't been for another prophet nearby, I would have died. Another prophet in the same place as him. That. The moment that Lee Sung Kuk was about to speak, the ground slightly shook. The vibration was transmitted despite sound wave blocking. Lee Sung Kuk and I ran out of the tent at the same time. Gung. I thought it was a sudden sub scenario, but that wasn't it. Two people stood in the center of the epicenter. The man and woman facing each other. I didn't know the man, but the other person was. You aren't a supporting role, yet you dare to push me. What are you talking about, you dog like jerk? Not surprisingly, it was Yung Hiwan. What? Dog. You bitch. The man grabbed a very large ring sword from his back. His overall level seemed in line with Yung Hiwan's. But it wasn't enough. Yung Hiwan movements were already above incarnations of the same class. Yung Hiwan's blade moved lightly as the man attacked. The character, Yung Hiwan, has activated the special option of Mikazuki Munekika, Death God's footsteps. Yung Hiwan. Yung Hiwan stopped his black just before she cut off the man's head. The hairs were rising on the man's neck. It was a tremendous difference in speed. If I hadn't intervened, the man would be dead. The startled Lee Sung Kuk cried out, Yung Min Sob. What are you doing now? I realized it when I saw Lee Sung Kuk's confusion. The exclusive skill, character list is activated. Then the expected message popped up. The information of this person can't be read in, character list. This person isn't registered in, character list. That's right. He was also a prophet. After a while, another prophet was on his knees in front of me, with Lee Sung Kuk next to him. I'm sorry, my friend didn't know anything, hey, apologize quickly. The man sitting beside him bowed towards me. I'm sorry. Unlike Lee Sung Kuk. He was a very prideful person and couldn't completely remove the anger from his face. I looked at Yung Hee Wan and said. Yung Hee Wan, I told you not to be reckless. T this bastard. Yung Hee Wan. Yung Hee Wan made a surprised expression for the first time. I'm sorry, Yu Jong Hyuk Nim. Yung Hee Wan bowed and turned to leave, Lee Hun Sung following her with a strange expression. I knew that Yung Hee Wan wasn't the type to raise a sword to someone for no reason. However, it was dangerous to move in this current situation. The other man looked at me and asked, Are you really Yu Jong Hyuk Nim? Yes, are you also a prophet? Yes. There was a complicated expression on his face. He looked between me, Yung Hee Wan and Lee Hun Sung. Then he glanced at Lee Sung Kuk and said, Excuse me, Yu Jong Hyuk Nim. I'm sorry but I'm afraid I'll have to leave you for a moment. Sung Kuk, talk with me for a minute. He left the tent while Lee Sung Kuk bowed to me. I won't wait long. Yes. It wouldn't be like this if it was the original Yu Jong Hyuk. But I had a reason for allowing them to talk. As soon as Lee Sung Kuk left the tent, I immediately called to Bi Hyung. Hey Bi Hyung. What is it? Having fun again. Hearing enhancement, 2000 coins. Opening square bracket dot closing square bracket. Now Bi Hyung had adapted. It took less than 3 seconds before an advertisement went up. 2000 coins have been consumed. The exclusive skill, hearing enhancement, has been acquired. Bi Hyung. Warned. Hey, be careful from the fourth scenario onwards. For such a wide-scale scenario, the intermediate Dakabus have jurisdiction. I ignored Bi Hyung's words. The exclusive skill, hearing enhancement LB, 1, is activated. I moved my body outside the tent blocked by sound wave blocking. Then voices started to be heard. They weren't too far from where I was hiding. Hey, isn't it slightly strange? What? Do you see that as a handsome face? What are you talking about suddenly? The author said that Yu Jong Hyuk was handsome. This bastard. Fortunately, Lee Sung Kuk dismissed it. The author might have different tastes, he is Yu Jong Hyuk for sure. He has the same dirty nature. You only got off at the ninth chapter, what do you know? This. You don't really remember it since you read it a long time ago. Still, aren't some scenes pretty clear with the memory benefits? Would you even remember the prologue without this privilege? You might not be alive if it wasn't for me. Their voices were coming closer. It is weird no matter how I look at it. Setting aside Lee Hunsung, who is that strange woman? If I remember correctly, there wasn't such a woman in the third regression. Then check it. See if he is really Yu Jong Hyuk. But what if he is real? We will go according to plan. If we get Yu Jong Hyuk here, we can deal with those who read until the 50th chapter. Some really good information was coming in. Despite wanting to hug onto the main character, these guys were unleashing all types of curse words because of their situation. This was why they were humans. Lee Sung Kuk and the man was coming closer. I apologize for the long wait. Let's go inside. We went back into the tent. 
Yu Jong Hyuk Nim, I apologize for my previous disrespect. I will greet you again. I am Yung Min Saab. The man smiled and bowed. Once again, this guy had pretty good items for being beaten by Yung Hee Won. In particular, there was the useful fugitive's mask which allowed the user to freely change their face and appearance. I cut to the chase. Then where did you get off? Yung Min Saab glared at Lee Sung Kuk. He seemed to be saying something with his eyes. The 1089th person to get off. 1089. Considering the number of views for chapter 1200 was 1 and the number of views for chapter 120 was 10, this guy was a person who got off quite late. Maybe this was the guy who saved Lee Sung Kuk in the first scenario. As a prophet who has read the book of Revelation, I am glad and honored to meet you Jong Hyuk Nim. However, Yu Jong Hyuk Nim, I'm sorry but can I ask you some questions? Question. What is the question? That, regarding Yu Jong Hyuk. Do you doubt that I'm the real Yu Jong Hyuk? T that's not it. His face was red from my intense gaze. Try it. Yes. Ask me. The confused Yung Min Saab nodded. Um, then excuse me. In order to properly trick these guys, I had to keep a few things in mind. As far as I know, Yu Jong Hyuk took delusional demon Kim Nam Woon as a companion in the third regression. Yet you have a strange woman with you instead of Kim Nam Woon. Quote ellipsis quote. I thought she was Lee Jai Hee but she doesn't seem to be in her teens. I also heard you calling her a different name. His memory and observation skills were quite good. Like Young Min Saab said, this world had already changed from the third turn that I knew. Now I had to shift this changed world to suit my taste as much as possible. If you are asking me why I don't have the delusional demon with me, the answer is simple. In this turn, the delusional demon doesn't exist. Huh. He doesn't exist. Perhaps. Did he die? Yes. Their faces were filled with confusion for a moment. Young Min Saab asked, No, how, who the hell killed Kim Nam Woon? The delusion demon Kim Nam Woon. These prophets' mouths were slowly dropping. Now I would drive in the last wedge. He died at the hands of a prophet like you. Dot, dot, dot. Dot. Chapter 50. Episode 11 Night of the Prophets 2. A prophet like us. Yes. At first, I didn't realize he was a prophet. Now it looks like he is. He knew the future like you. Then, it seems like he knows a lot more than you do. He killed the delusional demon and gobbled up the hidden scenarios in the beginning. Thanks to that, my plan became twisted. T there is a guy like that. Of course there was. The person was right in front of you. He even seems to be impersonating me. When I encountered him last time, he was on the verge of death but he is still likely to be active near Chungmuro. The constellation, secretive plotter, admires your impudence. Chungmuro, don't tell me. Young Min Saab was surprised and opened his smartphone, tapping the keyboard like Lee Sung Kuk. Maybe he was informing the other prophets. Young Min Saab asked me a few more questions and I answered them briefly. It is like this. Ah, then the third regression changed, you really are Yu Jong Hyuk. Young Min Saab was deeply impressed. That's why you got that girl instead of the delusional demon. She seems enough to replace Kim Nam Woon. She overpowered me in one blow. The most important thing was their misunderstanding. Young Min Saab thought for a while before saying, but when listening to Yu Jong Hyuk's story, I seem to know who killed the delusional demon. You know. Yes. I said this before, let me tell you this in advance, not all prophets are on the same side. I expected to hear this conversation. If there were 48 who knew the future, there would be some people who thought wrongly. There are those who call themselves the Twelve Apostles. They believe they are the only ones who have read the real revelation and that they can change this world. Twelve people. It was an exact match to the number of people who read up to Chapter 50 of Ways of Survival. Why are they different from you? They, they have read more of the revelation than us. I was right. Right now, there are 11 known apostles. I'm guessing that the prophet that Yu Jong Hyuk Nim met is the last unknown apostle. As they were creative people, they adapted when thrown into the scenario. This was a convenient misunderstanding. No, wait a minute, a misunderstanding. If I thought about it, one of the 12 people who read up to chapter 50 would be me. You don't have any good feelings towards the apostles. To tell the truth, that's right. Unlike us, they are planning to use the book of Revelation to conquer this world. Why was my conscience pricked? They are the ones who pursue their own interests and sincerity rather than stop the destruction of the world by helping Yu Jong Hyuk. They are like the ten evils. Ten evils. That's why I would like to ask Yu Jong Hyuk Nim. Please lead us. Stop them. I see. This was their real purpose. To be honest, it was a bit surprising. I never thought they would need me because of infighting between the prophets. 
I thought for a moment before opening my mouth. Okay, I accept. I will form an alliance. Are oh, really? However, I have one condition. Lee Sungkook and Young Min Sob's faces were tense as they waited for the conditions. First, give me Changsun Station. Huh, Changsun Station. It is the station right above Dongmyo. Haven't you eaten it already? Ah, uh, then Chungyuro's target station. Young Min Sob seemed to know something. In fact, this was the most major part of this alliance. In struggle for the flag, the target that I must occupy was Changsun Station. If I couldn't take it, I wouldn't be able to finish the fourth scenario even if I walked the king's road to the end. If I didn't complete the fourth scenario, both me and my group would automatically die. By the way, Lee Sungkook's expression was strange. Excuse me, Yu Jong Hyuk Nim. I'm really sorry, this is a bit difficult. Why? The owner of Changsun Station isn't a member of our group. It isn't yours. It was strange. It was because Dongmyo Station was right before it. Lee Sungkook said with a sigh, the tyrant king has occupied it. The tyrant king. My blood ran cold. He has already become a king. One of Seoul's seven kings, the tyrant king. He was one of the few people who could be compared to Yu Jong Hyuk at this point. Shouldn't it take a few days until he blossomed as a king? The guy who started at Dobong Station had already come down this far. It didn't make sense no matter how I thought about it. Lee Sungkook received my gaze and looked down. Actually, some of the prophets made a few mistakes and his power suddenly rose. In the midst of taking some prophets, he took the station, at the time, prophets had 53 members. Suddenly, their credibility declined sharply. When I thought about it, I didn't know the beginning of the novel well without help. Why did I think these people would do well? D don't worry too much about it. We are preparing a powerful weapon to eliminate the tyrant king. It isn't just the tyrant king. It is a weapon to deal with the twelve apostles. Young Min Saab agreed. Maybe Yu Jong Hyuk Nim doesn't know it well. We worked very hard to figure out the revelations. No, I knew. These guys shouldn't be alone. I had to end it before these people could ruin the story. Ah, this is good. Sooner or later, you will have a chance to see the weapon. A chance to see the weapon. Tomorrow, with the exception of the twelve apostles, the night of the prophets will be held. I if you don't mind. Young Min Sob's eager eyes turned to me. Yu Jong Hyuk Nim, I want you to come with us. After the talk, Yung Hee Wan, Lee Hun Sung and I gathered in the accommodations provided by Lee Sung Kuk. I looked at the flag of Chung Muro Station. Throughout the afternoon, my flag was changed to Navy, due to the transfer of Dongdiman Station and Cheonggu Station. You have used the benefits of the Navy flag. From now on, you can use the group chat with the group members. From now on, we didn't have to worry about conversations. The group chat couldn't be intercepted unless another group member was in the same area. I briefly explained to them about what happened today. Young Hee Won vaguely noticed but Lee Hun Sung was surprised. Oh my god, it is unbelievable. They know part of the future, that's why Dokya SSI is acting as Yu Jong Hyuk. Yes. Sigh, then we should stay here for the moment. We need to find out more information about them. Nope. Huh. Today I will take care of them. I looked at Young Hee Won and said. I'm sorry Young Hee Won SSI. It's okay, I am just a bit hurt. Dash ellipsis ellipsis. I'm just joking. Isn't Dokya SSI playing a gangster right now? If you are sorry, let me deal with that jerk from before. Young Hee Won smiled and continued. Then tonight will be a hot night. H hot. Lee Hun Sung was freaked out by Young Hee Won's joke. I shook my head. I have something to do first. Something to do. Now all of them are moving. It will be difficult. I took out a small cloak as I finished speaking. My figure suddenly disappeared and Lee Hun Sung spoke with confusion. Hey, Dokya SSI, I will give you a signal. Then you will move. It was a gold member's privilege item. Reclus's cloak, which was purchased for 3,000 coins. It was a five-time consumable item but it could maintain absolute stealth for 20 minutes once the ability was activated. I melted into the darkness. It was useless against opponents with absolute senses LB, 6 or higher but no one had such skills here. I passed by the drowsy guards and arrived at Han dong -hun's tent. There was sound wave blocking around the tent so I wasn't worried about anyone overhearing once I entered. He carefully opened the tent and saw a boy sitting at the keyboard alone. The dark circles were thicker than they were in the daytime. A solitary boy commenting alone. The prophets had turned this boy into a worn-out machine. A propaganda machine that manipulated the future by scattering information that mixed fiction with truth. It didn't have much effect right now but the value of this boy would grow over time. 
I quietly approached from behind and blocked his mouth. Han Donghun gasped and struggled, but it was impossible to resist me with a level 10 strength. I put my hand in my pocket and pulled out the mental awakening medicine that I bought along with the Reclus's cloak. It was a huge 3,000 coins. It would be a lie if I said it wasn't regrettable, but if I could get the Hermit King of Shadows with 3,000 coins, it would be a profitable transaction. Sometime after being fed the stimulant, Han Donghun's eyes changed. The hypnosis effect was loosened and the boy's sense of reason started to return. You, uh, you. Hypnosis didn't mean that he forgot everything. In this little boy's head, all types of trauma would be running through them. Once the hypnosis slipped, his sponsor would start to intervene to some extent. The sponsor behind character, Han Donghun, has revealed himself. The constellation, shadow behind the curtain has thanked you. 500 coins have been sponsored. Han Donghun stepped back while holding the flag in his hand. I watched the flag closely and deliberately stepped away. Don't worry. I'm not here to snatch the flag. Ah, you ah, ah. You're smart so you should understand right away. If I wanted to harm you, I wouldn't have released hypnosis. TT then. I want to be friends. Han Donghun's eyes shook. I waited for a moment. It was until the turbulence in his head calmed down. But Han Donghun wasn't able to speak easily. That reminded me, this guy had a problem. Is it hard to speak directly? If you don't mind, I'd like to talk through this. Han Donghun looked at the smartphone held in his hands and started muttering something. The character, Han Donghun, used, wide area internet LB, 5 feet on your smartphone. You can use the internet anywhere in, Seoul Dome, unless the consciousness of, Han Donghun, is interrupted. After a while, Han Donghun's name appeared in the smartphone messenger. Who are you? I've been looking for you. Lee Sungkook also said that. I suppose so. I, the boy's trembling fingers couldn't produce any more sentences. I instinctively realized. It was impossible to persuade this boy right now. For more than 10 days, the boy's wounds had festered to the point where it couldn't be easily restored. I understand you. It is scary and confusing. The character, Han Donghun, is greatly disturbed. Don't be ridiculous. I am different from those people. I can't believe you. Don't you hate the prophets? Han Donghun's eyes shook. Deep-rooted resentment filled the boy's eyes due to the hypnosis. If you allow me to, I can get rid of them. Why? You are a prophet. They shouldn't exist. They are interfering with the, epilogue. Han Donghun stared at me with eyes that couldn't understand and tapped on his keyboard. To, me, what do you want? You will just use my abilities anyway. I looked up and slowly opened my mouth. No, it is just the opposite. I stared into Han Donghun's eyes as I spoke aloud. You don't have to do anything. Now those jerks time is over. It will all end tomorrow. Sigh, when this is over, I will have a bottle of soju. Yes. Did you see that bastard's eyes before? The sage's eyes glared at me and I almost had a heart attack. Ha it, how did a guy who got off at the prologue know about the sage's eyes? Cheerful voices. It was so exciting that I wanted to keep listening. Hey, the other prophets are still suspicious, how do I convince them? They've been nagging me to go to Chungyuro. Give me your phone and I will speak to them. At any rate, huh. Young Minsob's face stiffened as he fiddled with the keyboard. Why is the internet not working all of a sudden? Is that brat sleeping again? Go check it out. Young Minsob was about to leave the tent when his body hit something. The moment he stretched out a hand. W what is this? Cheeing. Og. Young Minsob fell onto the ground with a scream. I took off the Reclus's cloak and held the blade of faith. Why you Jonghyuk? How come? The confused Lee Sungkook stumbled while Young Hee-won poked her head in from outside the tent. I took care of some of them. But there are too many people, I won't last long. Young Hee-won disappeared and the sound of fighting was heard from outside. Now the guards will flock. D don't you know what will happen if you do this? You Jong Hyuk, you won't be able to deal with all of us. All. Oh, I don't have to deal with everyone. I just need to handle you. This remark made Lee Sungkook's lips twitch. I'm sorry you Jong Hyuk but I can't let. Kudududuk. I lightly swept the ether blade towards the fallen Young Minsob and cut the armor he was wearing. Young Minsob screamed. Ack. His flesh was torn and a piece of cloth fell out. I picked up the piece of cloth that had fallen out. You have won the flag of the, Dongmyo group. Your navy flag has absorbed the cumulative achievements of the navy flag. Your navy flag has evolved into a brown flag. A strong flag protects you. You are the real representative of Dongmyo. H. How. No matter how stupid you guys are, you wouldn't show the flag so proudly. In the first place, it was strange for them to give the representative position to Han Donghun. 
they knew the future and wouldn't give the representative position to a character in the novel. However, Lee Sungkook wasn't the representative. There was only one answer. The remaining members of the Dongmyo group are waiting for your decision. Now the guards were meaningless. The hopeless young Minsob stuttered. Why you Jonghyuk? The other prophets will know this. How will you let them know when the internet doesn't work? Lee Sungkook cried out as he realized that all their plans were broken. Why? Why are you doing this to us? Let's see. This question is meaningless. Even if I was the real Yu Jonghyuk, I wouldn't form an alliance with guys like you. W what? Don't tell me. I grinned at the pale looking duo and laughed. You should have read to the end. Dot, 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 dot. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint written by Sing Shang. Audio by Dex San Wu Li.